this work is about the, um, how to handle deep learning um, when you have especially multiple sources of data, um, especially in the context of action recognition. So I'm going to quickly go through the two stream network, and then which is our work is based on. And then uh, we suggest two ideas in this paper, and then experimental result. So two stream network, um, it try to mimic the two paths of human visual cortex. Um, so let's say there's a, in video, there's a RGB information and then there's a motion information. So one network is trained on RGB information and the other network is trained on optical flow image. And then finally, um, they got average the score of the, each prediction of the network. But the problem of this two stream network is that um, each network was highly overtuned to the particular input type. Um, for example, RGB or the optical flow. So we, we try to overcome this challenge. Um, the first idea is the, um, the what you call the feature amplification. Um, so I'm gonna give you some um, extreme example that the CNN works very well on the large data scale, large scale data set, and then CNN was very poorly with small small scale data set. So this is for the um, from Google that um, still few images for classifying store 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 fronts. So for example, this, this, this network is traded on very large scale data set and then we give them the pharmacy character um, right over there and the CNN correctly classified that this is a pharmacy. We didn't give that any specific, specific character information when it's provides the network. So they just recognize the characters and then use it as a very strong features for classify the store form. And then, but by the way, the uh, action recognition, it, which has a relatively small data set, um, so we asked that this image to CNN, um, which, which action is it, and then CNN says that it's trampoline jumping, which is wrong. It's obviously it's tennis swing. Um, so the reason why is that the CNN is distracted by the, some background. For example, in this case, um, white pillar in the background, and then usually white pillar is appear in the many of the trampoline jumping example. So CNN um, is dressed over some um, unimportant features. So what we did is that uh, in action recognition, um, the um, motion information is very important. So we take the um, optical flow magnitude and then we elementize the product to the um, maybe last layer of the component features. And then which is, um, so here, it, um, the, the, optic, the magnitude of the optical flow is very high where it's the, there is a motion. So when you, um, when you multiply this and then the um, common features and then they try to amplify the activation of the convolution, convolution filters. So there are some examples. Um, for example, this, this action is obviously jumping jet because this guy is jumping. But in um, original CNN, they misclassify this as a punching box because there's a punching, um, there are um, punching back in background. So the other example is over here. So um, we, we, we try to give some RGB information. No, we try to give some temporal information to the spatial network. But we, we, we want to do exactly the same thing in the other way around. So for example, um, so we take the spatial network and we take the temporal network. And then we get the, some, linear, um, we get the, some linear, linear combination of the previous, previous feature maps. And then we get the element-wise product. So we, we, can, we can have the many of them. Um, and then we try multiple, um, multiple cases of various fusion alternatives. And then we, we, um, we try several baseline and then we, we try several multiplication fusion in different layers. And then, um, so we, we finally we achieved some good result compared to our baseline and 87 to um, 89 and 50 to 56. Um, so conclusion, we propose two novel techniques for combining knowledge in CNN for action recognition. Um, so thank you.